हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो एंड आज के सारी वीडियो में वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट व्हाई यू शुड बी चूजिंग ड्रिजल ओवर प्रिज्मा एंड व्हाई यू शुड नॉट बी गोइंग विद प्रिज्मा इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस तो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड एंड लेट्स जंप ऑन माय स्क्रीन तो मैंने कुछ काफ़ी सारे पॉइंटर्स लिख रखे हैं विच इज़ द रीज़न वाई यू शुड नॉट बी गोइंग विद दी प्रिज्मा इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस सो वॉट प्रिज्मा ऑफर्स प्रिज्मा इज पॉपुलर बट इट माइट बी स्लोइंग डाउन योर ऐप इन द फ्यूचर आई हैव यूज इन फॉर लाइक a year in production and i have seen performance which was high serverless cost and unexpected complexity in this uh, with by using prisma orm jo hai jaise ki prisma aur drizzle dono orm hai to orms are meant for meant for your productivity but they create sometime problem and prisma is one of the prior example of the problem because uh, <laughs> there are some what some issues that i have with prisma and let's see what these are so <laughs> starting with prisma prisma ki marketing kafi achhi ki gayi thi prisma is type safe uh, auto migration no sql a single schema file and like on theory it's like really good thing that you can promise to someone but for this brilliant marketing it didn't really turn out to be well thing because prisma ka developer experience if i want to show you is like really really good you just need to do this and you don't really need to worry about the the no sql part or the sql part at all you just need to say okay await prisma user find many you just find it the user and if they have some tweets you will see their tweets so this is the example i create the code looks clean uh, readable but the abstraction have a lot of hidden cost so let's talk about the hidden cost that we have so first of all is the bundle size so drizzle bundle size is about 1.5 mb and prisma bundle size is about 6.5 mb so if you must be thinking that why is the bundle size matter here if we talk about serverless serverless jahan pe hum on go request process karte hain wahan pe bundle size bahut matter karta hai if if you talk about cloudflare function size or docker size then they they have a specific docker size for like i guess 10 or 12 mb i'm not sure uh, same goes to bursel they have i guess approx 6 or 9 mb of uh, size and same goes to aws lambda whenever you are deploying your server or the backend there will be some fix a size for a function that is determined in the serverless environment and every single mb and kb count there so in that case prisma doesn't really do very well and in in serverless environment by default serverless size and the startup latency cost you a lot of money let's talk about the third problem which is the actual issues and the the issues in depth so you have seen this harmless query earlier यू मस्ट भी थिंकिंग लाइक इसमें तो कहीं इशू होगा नॉर्मल सी क्वेरी है बस हम एक राम नाम का अगर यूजर्स है उन सबके ट्वीट्स फाइंड कर रहे हैं ना वॉट एग्जैक्टली हैपन्स विद दिस दैट वेन एवर यू रन दिस क्वेरी इट रन इट फॉर एन प्लस वन टाइम सो एन इज दी नंबर ऑफ क्वेरी प्लस वन मेन क्वेरी सो सपोज तुम्हारे डेटा बेस में पचास राम नाम के यूजर हैं देन दिस क्वेरी विल रन फॉर एन प्लस वन यानी कि फिफ्टी वन टाइम्स ये रन करेगी जबकि इट शुड बी समथिंग लाइक दिस सो इट शुड बी लाइक सेलेक्ट एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम यूजर्स लेफ्ट ज्वाइन ऑन ट्वीट्स टेबल एंड देन यू विल से ट्वीट फूज यूजर आई डी इज द यूजर आई डी दैट वी हैव सेट बट हेयर वॉट एग्जैक्टली हैपनिंग इज कि सबसे पहले वो यूजर ढूंढेगा एंड जिन जिनकी वो यूजर आई डी होगी वो उन सबके यूजर आई डी के लिए पूरा फॉल्ट लूप लगा के इंटरेट करके एंड देन फाइनली इट विल शो यू द रिजल्ट विच वी डोंट वॉन्ट बिकॉज अगर अभी तो पचास यूजर है इट विल वर्क रियली फाइन फॉर डेवलपमेंट but when there will be 5000 10000 1 million users then if you are fetching something then it will it will cost you like tons of tons of mbs of data like tumhare agar ek row 10 kb ka hai and you are fetching like tons of data it can go up to 500 mb 1 gb in like enterprise enterprise level pe to tvs mein chala jayega agar bahut jyada users hue so this is a very stupid way of making uh, 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 what we call a headache a uh, technical dev in future in your project if you are using prisma in the first place and you are not well aware of how it works under the hood now uh, this single query will take a lot of database round trips so 
like uh, it will be going to database asking for the tweets and then will be coming again and will repeat for uh, use uh, for all of the users and then finally it will show it so in short what i want to say is that it will take a lot of time for query as well as it will make your database slow you will have a lot of persistent uh, jump start and stuff all right let's go with the third issue the the serverless main issue which i wanted to show is uh, i think serverless issue we have already talked about um what left yeah okay okay i think numbering is wrong but let's go so how prisma works under the hood to work uh, to prisma uh, prisma to work they do this thing first of all they will load the rust based query engine in binary then they start their internal graphql server then they initialize connection pooling and then they generate the client inf- interface and by the way this is all happens before your query even process so this stuff will happen and then finally your query will be processed so after that your query will be there so i've seen like usually for development it took hardly 200 millisecond to work because you are on your dev machine but in the aws lambda that i was working on their jump start straight up from 200 mbps uh, m- m- millisecond to went up to 2 second or 5 second sometimes because it was doing a lot of things behind the scene which it should not in the first place but just because prisma kafi acha dx provide karta hai so for that they need these things to start aur unka underlying stack hi us pe bana hai but drizzle ke sath ye scene hai just a lightweight thin wrapper over sql itself so it doesn't really take or doesn't really do any of the stuff it just works so this good developer experience come with simple case but developer experience ke sath tumhara कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी बहुत बढ़ जाती है इन फ्यूचर नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द मेजर इशूज दैट हैड विथ प्रिज्मा विच वॉज दिस डेवलपर एक्सपीरियंस इशूज सो लेट्स लेट्स गो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव इन द डेवलपर एक्सपीरियंस दैट दी स्कीमा लॉक इन सो वॉट इज स्कीमा लॉक इन इज कि तुम्हारा जो पूरा स्कीमा रहता है दैट इज मेजरली इन वन सिंगल फाइल तुम्हारी एक सबसे बड़ी स्कीमा वाली फाइल होगी उसके अंदर काफी सारा रहेगा यू यू कैन गो थ्रू डॉक्यूमेंटेशन एंड यू विल फाइंड अब जहाँ पे दिस स्कीमा डॉट प्रिज्मा विल बिकम इंडेक्स डॉट प्रिज्मा एंड यू कैन क्रिएट सब फोल्डर्स एंड उसके अंदर तुम ऐसे ऑथ डॉट प्रिज्मा और यूजर डॉट प्रिज्मा और ट्वीट डॉट प्रिज्मा करके सारे स्कीमा स्टोर कर सकते हो बट दिस थिंग डजेंट रली वर्क मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम सो यू स्टिक you need to stick to this schema.prisma in the first place and this gigantic file will take care of every single thing or the in future jaise jaise tumhari file badi hoti hai jaise jaise tumhara product grow karta hai it becomes harder and harder for you to manage the stuff now let's talk about the generation issue so whenever you make any schema changes you do prisma generate and prisma generate does take a lot of time like it will freeze your id if you are working on low end device and it will literally uh, Won't allow you to write code जब तक कि Prisma schema is in generation. Same goes to migration. Migration जब करते हो तो migration के साथ एक major issue हो जाता है वेन एवर यू डू आ कॉलम डी नेम देन प्रिज्मा ड्रॉप्स डी कॉलम इट सेल्फ और द टेबल इट सेल्फ एंड देन इट रिक्रिएट्स सो इट कॉजेज यू अलॉट ऑफ डेटा सपोज तुम्हारी ट्वीट फील्ड में तुमने गलती से नेम की जगह यूजर नेम लिख दिया नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू जस्ट अल्टर द नेम बट इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन प्रिज्मा बाई डिफॉल्ट कैन नॉट रियली डू इट यू नीड टू ड्रॉप द टेबल एंड देन यू नीड टू actually uh, create a new table which will have the final uh, data so that problem i have faced in my project which is notes ready i faced this pro- problem a lot a lot of time but when i was working in this company i got to know about drizzle and when i used drizzle i realized that this was super easy in drizzle to do because it's just a tiny wrapper over uh, over sql also in the generation issue if you forgot to generate a schema at any moment then your types will go out of sync you will have tons of tons of errors in your code so that is also major drawback with uh, with prisma all right so we have covered major stuff now let's talk about by by drizzle so drizzle provides you sqlite sql like api with full type safety it there is no need for generation no binaries no magic and it is super faster much smaller and this is how some what code looks like it's like it's like almost sql if you just look at you need to select you need to select from which table where and it also provides you type safety so whenever you will do dot you know what is going to happen so in my latest project i was trying to use drizzle and it really worked out well i was building this project called 
project review.tramex.in and for this project i use this uh, drizzle schema and worked really well like it's super fast if i made the same app in prisma i would have seen a lot of issues like if i want to tell you one thing then you can go to orm.drizzle team slash benchmarks and if you go through these benchmark you will realize ki yahan pe jaise jaise time nikalta hai like you can see ki average latency dheere dheere kitni badi hai so cpu uses we almost all time high rahe hain the number of request processing ye dekho <coughs> drizzle was jaise uh, jaise time badhta ja raha tha waise waise drizzle was performing really high but prisma ka performance kafi stable raha but it was quite low so you can also run this uh, test it is fully open source uh, i have also uh, run this test once when i was trying to test out things and you can just uh, set up the thing and you can run this uh, test maine mere khud ke vm pe run kiya tha aur ek maine docker pe run kiya tha and i i have seen pretty decent result that drizzle is really faster than prisma in the first place so even abhi to version when we launch new it's still in beta so you you can see how how good it is right so what i want to say that now either you can go with sql itself because sql always a better choice but in the longer run when you are working with typescript you need to generate your typescript file then i suggest that drizzle is the best you can go as of now prisma will is fine for simple crud application prisma is good for like okayish okayish for low level projects but in the longer run for enterprise level project or product it is not really that good it's uh, some some guys will comment that your database is also plays a major role i believe that it is it always like i believe nahi but it always does i have hosted my database personally on docker itself i have docker postgres and also i have hosted the a database on my vps which have uh, the vps server have only 29 millisecond of latency and in uh, using drizzle i have got approx 32 millisecond and with using prisma i have got around 100 or 80 or 200 millisecond per request like this was approx uh this was the approx time it was taking for every single request which i was processing through my vps if you want to see like if you thinking that i have never used prisma that well then you can go and check out the project i have created called notes buddy on my github profile which is uh, github.com/ramxcodes/notes buddy this project heavily relies on prisma like heavily kya pura ka pura project hi prisma pe bana hai pura database ka prisma se hi handle hota hai and you can see ki kitna bada schema ka file bana hai i tried splitting the schema but it didn't work well i i had this another project jisme almost 1800 2000 line ka schema tha in drizzel and it was really splitted up like pura modelize kar liya end mein and it was really great feeling because prisma ke sath wo nahi kar sakte so in short the video is all ended here as of now and it was my opinion or rant on prisma i hope you liked the video and why you should be choosing drizzel i know it's a new tech stack there will be a lot of documentation and not there but you can just go and ask for perplexity it is doing really great job as of now for finding documentation or the things that are not there suppose uh, there is no documentation for typescript but you can just ask uh, perplexity and it will provide you some documentation which will be for your need so that is all for this video see you in the next video bye, -bye.